everybody. Welcome to another plan with me. We are finishing up the week, well, the first week of March, and we will be moving into the 7th through the 13th, which also includes daylight saving time, savings time, and that just kind of <laughs> blows my mind a little bit that uh, we have to deal with the clocks again so soon. The one from November to March, it just feels so short. No, it's not that much shorter, um, but yeah, wow, it feels short. So it is Saturday afternoon and I am going to be setting up my planner. So this week, this worked out really, really well. I did utilize this. I do need to add some checks because I haven't done that yet. I'm still doing the day on two pages. These are my plans. This is my little homeschool section with notes, um, to do's, things like that. This is my Bible study section. And I, on the one hand, love how this turned out because I used my planner so much. However, um, two things. One, I was switching from blue to black ink. So let me think, well, maybe there was no black ink on this spread. Maybe I did it before this. But I showed you last week how I had a Twisby medium nib and it, I immediately realized like it's pretty much bleeding through, not just kind of shadowing on the back. So I went ahead immediately splurged, purchased the extra fine and it makes a huge difference. So this is the wide, excuse me, this was the medium nib and you can see it was like literally shadowing through the back. However, this right here is the finer nib and it does not shadow more than other pen unless I leave it on the page too long. So there has been a tiny learning curve, but this is more normal. This is something I can tolerate and I cannot tolerate how much it was bleeding through with the, the thicker nib. So like here, you can almost see the ink coming through the page. So there's that. Um, I messed up a few things that I was trying to record. I'm reading through the Bible right now. I just picked up a plan um, mid-year. I'm gonna do a video, um, maybe I can film it after this one, hopefully, where I share my new Bible, my new pens, my new supplies, and my reading plan and things like that. So um, I was writing it down and I wrote down the wrong ones and so I'm scribbling out. And as you can see, I have like no stickers whatsoever. Okay, so this is washi tape. I'll get to this in a minute. I actually don't really like it with zero stickers like this. Um, I really, really love this week where maybe I didn't use a ton, but I used some and I really want to get back to this. This is really important to me. It, it, it still is a, a minimal use of stickers um, a maximum use of functionality and things like that for me. And I really, I look back on these pages and I enjoy, enjoy it. And I look back on these pages and it's a little bit stressful and doesn't seem that nice. So when I purchased some new washi yesterday, um, it was my Friday and in the morning we're at homeschool group and in the afternoon I get out for the afternoon because it's my husband's day off and he watches the kids and you know he makes sure not to schedule appointments and things like that. So I went to Hobby Lobby, I haven't gone forever, and I found the most amazing set of washi tape. This was one complete set, except for these two right here. This was one set, it was like $17.99 for the set um, it was on sale for like $14.99, which is not a huge discount, especially by Hobby Lobby standards, but it's amazing. They're all florals. Um, I love how there's some brighter colors, but it's also just colors I'm in the mood for. I feel like this is the perfect kind of end of winter, getting into spring. I'm not ready for all bright, like I'm not hugely ready for these, you know, cherries and strawberries yet and they all coordinate together. So you can really mix and match almost any of these tapes. I fell in love with this and I had to have it. And I'm so glad I purchased it because I am pretty much going to use this at least for the rest of March, if not also all of April and maybe May. I am so stoked. I love this set of washi so much. I'm considering going again um, next Friday. And if they still have this, there was maybe one or two other 
sets of it, I might buy another one just because I know I will be sad when these run out. And that was the problem I was facing. So I have a, this is in a drawer. I have a little drawer set with three drawers over here. I can't show you because um, that's what my tripod is on. And I have some washi that I love. I have some Simply Gilded washi. I have some miscellaneous washi from my collection. But the problem I'm running into is all of my favorite washi is almost gone. So pretty much every roll in here is nearly gone, except for a few. And if you saw my plan with me last week, you saw how, oh, hang on, let me try to get this back in first. Otherwise I won't have room on my desk. Sorry, that's where the tripod is. If you saw my plan with me when I was doing this, I ran out of tape right here. Like literally this was the end of the roll. And that's the problem I have because of the way I do washi and I functionally use washi by making all of my pages for the week coordinate. And so I just, I was like, I guess it's time to get some new washi. So here we are. I got some new washi and I found this amazing sticker set from the paper studio. And it, I have no idea the brand of this washi set. Here, let me grab the box that it came in because it has no branding. Oh, it was originally $30 and I paid 15. That is so much better. It has no, it has no branding on it. It says Hobby Lobby, but it looks like it was made to go with this sticker set. So this is a faith-based sticker set. I accidentally just pulled the top page off apparently. It has these kind of decorative but faith-based stickers, some of them based on scripture verses, actually most of them, and, and then some little, I guess, quotes. So there's several pages of this kind of stuff. And then these are fun because I use stickers like this to mark when we're at church, um, verse of the day, Bible reading, all of that kind of stuff. So this is perfect. So a couple pages of, of that volunteer ones, these ones, which you could use these for anything. It's not, doesn't have to be um, like Bible and church related. And I mean, look at this washi tape. Doesn't it look like this washi tape was just designed? Maybe they were designed by the same company, but they coordinate so perfectly. So I am definitely going to just use these stickers and use them all over in my spread. Again, not specifically in my Bible study section because um, this could go anywhere, but it just coordinates so well. And it's faith-based. I love having faith-based things all over in my planner as well. They're great reminders. So I am thrilled and I feel like I could just use, I mean, look at these. Oh, they're so pretty. I just, I, I feel like I could use this set of washi and this sticker book exclusively pretty much for the next several weeks, maybe even the next several months and just be so happy because there's a great variety and yet they all coordinate. And I am really, really, really excited by this. So let me just give kind of a quick flip, just a few more, some of them functional weekly praise, um, a little checklist one. So some that are much more functional, some that are still kind of decorative and pretty. This says follow up, important. So again, you can use them in other places besides church related things. The ones I'm also excited about, let me just find that sticker page. There's little tabs. Is, where is it? It was towards the back. Was this right here? There are two pages of this. I want to get you close enough. And this is all of the books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, all the way through Malachi. So these are all the Old Testament ones. And then Matthew all the way through Revelation. And so when I am putting down the verses I'm reading, I can put those flags there. So then I don't have this mess, wherever it is, that I scribbled out. What page was that? I don't have this mess. I can use stickers for that. And of course, it's not going to last me that long. Um, and I'm spending more than one day, but I'm thinking of maybe putting that on my weekly spread. So, you know, some, some stuff to be determined, but I am, I am excited. So I apologize. That was, that was maybe a super long introduction and some people really dislike it, but I've also gotten some comments, um, from you guys that asked me to spend a little more time talking about my supplies, which I have not usually done. So 
I went through all of my inserts, the things I have available for myself for the weekly overview, and I decided to go back to this one this week, and I am going to maybe put some washi or draw a line down the middle and use it pretty much the way I started out using them, where one side will be time-sensitive type notes, things that we're gonna do that might be scheduled or activities or what have you. And then one section of it is going to be for my meal plan for the week for dinners, which, you know, just because I plan it on Monday doesn't mean I have to eat it on Monday, but I've gotten in a good rhythm and it just works out. So let me think. Well, first off, I have to decide which washi I'm gonna use. I think to help my decision, well here, I'm gonna flip back and look at these, these are so pretty. I think I do wanna go more towards the green. There aren't really that many green ones that are floral because we're kind of in, well, we are in March. And while I don't celebrate St. Patrick's Day, I do kind of like the nod to the themed colors. I don't really have anything, I have this one and this one, but they're not as florally, they're more leafy, which, you know, I'm not ready for that. So maybe I'll pair this one with, which one? I'm kind of honestly really leaning towards one of these yellows, which I'm not usually a yellow kind of person. And then if I'm gonna do this, I need something a little more solid. So which one do I wanna pair it with? Let me think here. Um, what direction do I want to go? Because I could do like this pop of kind of corally red. Is this what I want to do? No, because I want to emphasize the green and I feel like that would get the spotlight. Maybe I need to go with this one as just an accent to break it up. I think I might go with these right here. Okay, so let me come back to here and I'm definitely... So these are not gigantic rolls. Oh, I need my cutter. Where would I have put that? Hang on. My supplies are near, but I did not get them all. Okay. Oh, and I think this is my new mild liner. I hope it is. I'm pretty sure I threw away my other one so I wouldn't get confused and keep pulling out the used one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I might kind of cut off the edges a little bit there, but it'll be better when I get to the more detailed stuff. My kids are outside. I don't know if you can hear them. I act, It's actually so warm. I have windows open. And no, I won't be able to leave them open for very long, but it is completely unheard of this time of year where I live that it would be this mild. It is blowing my mind. I cannot even, I cannot even. Okay, so I'm going to put this one first, actually, over here. So on the left will be appointments and menu planning, and over here will be notes, and that should work for me very well for my weekly functioning needs because I'm really trying to force myself these days to go to my daily pages and let them be a catch-all. Okay, let me think. Do I want to try to run? I might, do I have a green? Sorry, I'm looking at my washi tape again. I'm going to hold off. I might use my mild liner. All right, I'm going to use it. I'm going to do it. I'm not holding off. I got to get stand up and get my ruler now. Okay. My husband used my little office area here last week. And so he just set aside all of my things so he could use the desk, which is totally fine, but I just I didn't <laughs> I didn't move everything back. Mm, is that not enough that's not enough space. I need a little bit more. So that should be good right here. There. 
Okay, so on this side, I will do appointments and time sensitive things and I'll do my menu over here. Notes, I will probably create a little workout tracker down here and I'm ready to move into Monday. Actually, I should come back out a little bit so you can see because this is going to be the full page of Washi. So I definitely want to use the floral, Ooh. but I wanted the emphasis to kind of be on green and I don't want to use two. Oh my goodness, I do this to myself every time, don't I? Do I want to do... I am tempted to do the small green on the left and this on the right because I have consistently been filling up this page and this page often has some extra room, although it doesn't look like it right here, but that's because I didn't go back and fill anything in. I don't know. Can I do that? Can I do two washies and not be stressed? I have no idea. I guess we're gonna try it. What's nice about this, as I've said before, is if you don't like something, you can always change it in a week. You're not committed to a full year or a full month of having two washi tapes. If I decide that's confusing or the size difference is frustrating or whatever, I only have to get through a week of it and I can usually make anything work for a week. <laughs> okay, so let's fill this in. So I definitely have been feeling good about forcing myself back to two pages instead of trying to decrease the amount of pages because I wasn't using my planner as much and I was like well you know I'm not doing my bible study notes so I don't need that weekly spread anymore and then um part of it was I did change my bible study but there was a certain amount of I was making it easy oops wrong one I was making it easy for myself to skip using my planner because I was like, yeah, well, I wasn't writing that down anyways. So it kind of went from using my planner a lot to maybe getting lazy. And again, I know there are seasons and I was kind of in a season, but um, what I was thinking of doing was going back small and continuing to decrease the things I was making myself put in my planner so I wasn't wasting space. And I went the other direction uh, two weeks ago and increased the amount of planner pages and space that I was using and it has in a good way forced me to open my planner and use my planner and I'm so thankful that I did. So maybe if you are not using your planner very much you are not perhaps again everybody's in a different season and there's so many different things but maybe you're not putting enough in it that you need to look at it, if that makes sense. So, hang on. Thankfully, this washi tape, it, I actually like it when it's not as sticky like this. Some people think it's cheap or some people don't prefer that, but I actually like it because I was just able to peel that up off of Stylogy paper, guys. Did you see that? Okay, so we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday. I wanted to make sure I wasn't like talking and then <laughs> just I continued on and did the rest of the book because I wasn't paying attention. No, that wouldn't happen. So that's Friday. Saturday. And I think one more Sunday. Let's just confirm. Oops, I keep almost dropping things off my desk. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday. Oh, wait. Okay. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So this is my last page because that's what I do, right? Friday, then my two pages for Saturday and Sunday. Yep. Oh, ooh. see, I almost did too many. I think I got this right. I'll start filling it in in a second and that will confirm it because you can always add another page. It's more difficult to peel away and retract a page. Get out of there. 
All right. So loving using my planner, loving writing more things and just kind of renewing that carrying it with me all the time. It's It's got every single thought I've ever had over the last few weeks in here. I'm just loving that. Okay, so we are on Monday the 7th for this one. Let me, actually, I'm gonna zoom in for this. So let me get it in. I think I'm going to abbreviate this week. Monday the 7th. Why does this feel like my old one? And where's my new one? Hmm. I'm pretty sure this is actually still my old one. For heaven's sake. Okay, Tuesday. I have a whole slew of pens upstairs. Um, cause I got a bunch of new highlighters and some pens for my Bible study Tuesday, Wednesday. So maybe I accidentally have it up there cause it came in that shipment, you know, Wednesday, Wednesday, the ninth. Thursday, what's the abbreviation? I can just hear my kids playing outside and it's so it's so beautiful it's so amazing to hear them in the fresh air and it's not uncomfortable weather 10. all right so this is where i have to not screw up so this is friday friday the 11th and this is Saturday, because this is my planning page for Saturday. Okay, so Saturday the 12th. Please tell me I'm doing all the dates correctly, yes. And then this is my Bible study, and I don't really do homeschool, but sometimes I do like teacher prep. So teacher prep and homeschool for Saturday, and this is actually Sunday. Sunday. Yay, I did it, okay. Sunday, and this is the 13th. Yay, okay. I'm actually gonna throw this pen away. There we go. Okay, so let's get back full screen here. Hang on, I can't see from my seats. There we go. Okay, so we are doing good. All right, so now what I wanna do is go ahead and lay one sticker. Okay, this is driving me nuts. I have no problem if the cover came off and this is actually perforated. So can we just detach? Okay, that works too. Ooh, I should save this. And I'm sure I could use it for something. Okay, I want to put, you know, kind of like a full box sticker idea. I want to put a sticker on every page. So let me see. I do have like these ones. Um, so those are smaller ones. Those are smaller ones. I love these. I might use some of these later in the week to put across here to divide the homeschool from the Bible study. So what usually ends up happening is in the morning when we're doing school, I'll write some notes or the night before, and then I won't mark anything because I do my focused Bible study in the afternoon. And then when it is time for Bible study, if I've only written this many, you know, this much homeschool, then I'll draw the line here or here or wherever it is. And so I'll just add one of those stickers maybe as my, as my thing. Um, okay, so I just have to start choosing stuff. So I'm just going to pick this one. So this is 2 Timothy 1.7. And I'm going to put it, I'm actually going to put it on this side. Okay. 
And then I am not gonna make the mistake of leaving my favorite character stickers. Right now I have a bunch from, is it Nightingale Paper Co., the Winston stickers, and are they the Coffee Monster Co. ones? Um, I need to have them upstairs with me where I do like my daily planner check-ins and where I live, you know, where I live with my planner and my daily life. Um, oh, weekly praise. There's only four. Um, if I use this, I need, anyway, sorry, I need to have those stickers upstairs. All right, I've got this mess. Hang on. Let me move those over there. I still could put this down here and fill it out. Instead of it being weekly, I could do four things. See, I'm still like, maybe not zoomed out enough. Okay, I do want a full decorative sticker here. I think I want this one. I am actually doing a March... I think I'm going to put it in the middle. I'm actually doing a March Whole30 because part of the reason for me to do that is to be hungry for Christ, not full of worldly desires and how many of us are maybe guilty of emotionally eating at times. And I just felt like um, it aligned with where I am in my health and exercise goals to kind of give me a little push. Um to eat Whole30 this month as, you know, as a challenge, as a monthly challenge. And then um, it also felt like it aligned with where I am spiritually and what I want to be focusing on for this month. Do I want to check in on a friend today? I like that. That's so great. Okay. So let me put this let me think Thursday schedule. I think I am going to put it just kind of over here. And Friday, Friday, I can probably get away with a nice large sticker, but what kind do I want? I think I'm going to do enjoy the process. Put it here. So it's sort of gonna divide my morning and afternoon. I need one for Saturday. Hmm. Which one do I want? I want um Oh my goodness, I don't know. Is there one that's a little bit more like a box? Maybe I need to go to one of the more box-like ones. Um, I don't know, I just keep staring at this flower one. I'm learning the temptation is, oh, this is so pretty, so therefore I don't want to use it and hoard it. And I'm learning I would rather look at it in here and I feel like I'm hoarding it in here by using it. I hope that makes sense. So I have really been using stickers and loving them because then they were used and I'm still gonna see them all the time. Okay, so really, well, don't, mm, no, I'm gonna do one more here, I think. Um, and I don't typically need a lot of room, so I'm just gonna go for it and do this giant one. Oops. I think they were cut a little too deeply. I just want the top part, there we go. Or, or else I'm just being way too, uh, way too strong. So, I'm just gonna put it here. Oh, this already looks so good. Um, I'm trying to decide, I can't put those Bible reading plan stickers in my weekly spread to check off, you know, what my reading plan is because 
I have to go upstairs and get the book that has my reading plan. So I think that's it. Um, let me show you my lovely Twisby. Sometimes I just uncap it and write with it and set the cap aside and sometimes I put it on and I don't, I don't really have a huge preference either way. Um, I already did my menu plan so I could write that in. Let's see. So Monday is chicken and salad. Let me zoom in so you can see me writing. Okay. So chicken and salad. And we always do tacos on Tuesday. So what's nice for me is chicken and salad is whole 30 and I just leave off like cheese and croutons and things that I'll purchase for my family. And of course I make my own dressing and I've been doing that for years anyways. And then with tacos, um, instead of having tacos or nachos, I just have a salad. And again, I leave off the sour cream and cheese, but I can put on the guacamole and um, I purchase a fresh salsa that's basically tomatoes and onions and seasonings and vinegar. Um, so I can put that on it and the meat and of course the salad. So uh, I really just work the meals to be very close to things that I can eat whole 30. So then um, my husband doesn't eat dinner with us on Wednesdays. So I'll have leftovers. My kids will have nachos or I'll do, I don't know, eggs or something. I can just, it's really easy for me to to do something like that. Okay. So slow cooker. I'm going to use venison instead of beef or pork, but we're going to do barbecue. And I decided to buy a whole 30. I think I got the Primal Kitchen brand um, instead of making my own just to make it a little easier. So everybody else, of course, is going to have it on a bun. I'm just going to have the barbecue. And I think I'm going to make mashed. Uh oh, am I in frame? I'll check mashed um, sweet potatoes. And then I always have sweet potatoes. I always have other vegetables, like maybe we'll have some leftover greens, so I'll make a salad, or I regularly get frozen broccoli. All of my family seems to like broccoli. Sometimes I'll do peas, which I can't have on Whole30, but those or green beans or Brussels sprouts, things like that in the freezer. And then I can just warm them up and we can have those on the side to fill out any meal. So we'll have pizza night. Um, but for like the last three years of pizza night, I just almost always make a salad. If I'm not doing any sort of healthy eating thing, um, I will maybe get a thin crust pizza with vegetables on it because that's what I actually like on my pizza or I will get a, a cauliflower crust one but you can't do that on Whole30 so I'll just have a salad. Um, I'm going to do a sheet pan supper so we're going to have um, sausage and I think potato and green beans and actually what's nice is I can do this either uh, on a sheet pan in the oven and kind of get a little more roasted, you know, obviously, or there's a way to do it in the slow cooker that we like and you put some broth in there and the seasonings and it comes out a little bit more, um, almost like a stew, but there's no broth. It's just because everything's been steamed. Things are a little bit more like soft, um, rather than like crispy. I don't know. It just, it almost, it's like the same ingredients, but it's almost like two different dishes just because of the way that you cook them. So green beans, and then we're gonna have a slow cooker egg bake on Sunday, and I will make it like without cheese, and I will make it whole 30. So basically I'm gonna use the hash browned potatoes, you know, like diced potatoes or something, um, the breakfast sausage, the eggs, and whatever vegetables. So I might put in like a, a bell pepper if I have some. Um, this is the last day the of the week for us as far as groceries go. So um, if I have that, I should have some spinach, maybe some kale left over, um, anything like that that I can add in there. And then I'll let my own family, when we serve it, I'll actually put cheese on top of it for them and that's how I'll keep it separated. So I have that. 
Um, and yeah, that's my beautiful pen. Let's see, since I'm just here. So the other thing too, um, when I was using the wide nib, not the wide, why do I keep saying wide? When I was using the medium nib Twisby, it took forever to dry. And this dries for a fountain pen almost instantly. Not as fast as a plain old ballpoint or um, like a quick dry gel pen. So like right now, because apparently I'm team blue ink lately, I'm using the Sarasa Zebra um, 0.5 and this is the blue color. And this is one of those gel pens that's a gel pen, but it's, it's instantly dry. So that's what's really nice. I'm glad I just went ahead and, and switched fountain pens um, because I would have been miserable trying to make it work. So um, my kids have Awana on Wednesday. And oh, I don't have the dates written on here. Um, do I want to do it with my highlighter? No, I'm just going to go ahead. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And then on Friday, we have homeschool group. I know I am not the first person to do this. And I have been doing it for a little while, but I absolutely love mixing up cursive and print fonts because it makes things stand out without having to switch pens or pull out stickers or highlighters or washi tape. And I just think it adds a lot of beauty to the page and a lot of diversity without actually having to do anything other than alter your handwriting. So you don't have to switch supplies. You just, yeah, you just change what you write. Um, daylight savings though, I'm gonna write up here in print. Day light savings. Thankfully, clocks with like cell phones and things like that automatically switch these days, so you don't actually have to like do the math <laughs> and set alarms. At least mine do. Um, so that's always a plus, but I just I need to mentally know that it's coming. And you know what? I'm pretty sure there was a little light bulb sticker in this little kit this little sticker pack thing and I will show you if I can find it. Yes, look at that. So I'm totally using one of those. Oh, do I wanna use the light bulb? I wanna use the light bulb because I can use the alarm clock for other things and I've never really used a light bulb before. So it will make me go, what? Why is there a light bulb in my planner? Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, and then over here, I think I'm just gonna label it this week. Um, I think I'll do cursive -y. So I'll just go this week. And then I can fill this in. I do a mixture of kind of notes to myself, but then actual tasks and to-dos. And then, um, should I set up my little habit tracker. This was actually really nice. It was really nice. So I think I will mind frame. Okay. So at the bottom I have read and this is my, so I read after I put my kids to bed. Um, that's what I do in the evenings is I read. And then tidy is just me in general, just a reminder of myself, don't put things down, put them away, make sure my bedroom and stuff is good. I finally replaced my floss. I ran out and like kept forgetting to put it on my list. So I got out of the habit. Skincare, again, I was getting kind of lazy skincare. So before bed, I wasn't really properly washing my face. Vitamins, I am now taking in the evenings. Vitamins. And workout. So I get a check mark if I do my workout and then somewhere else in my planner this week, it's gonna be on my daily pages because I have no other space for it. I'm going to write down what I actually did. Um, because I'm starting to get where I can jog a little bit. So I'll jog for intervals and then walk. Oh my goodness, you can't see. There we go. So I can jog 
now a little bit for shorter intervals and sometimes I do arms, legs, full body or abs or something like that. So, um, so workout planner, do I check my planner? Do I update my planner? Am I really like using my planner at least once for the day for that real like sit down and check the things off planner? Um, and then I think it was prayer and Bible. Yes. And then prayer. You may have noticed, um, nobody said anything. So if you noticed, that's awesome. When I set up my month, I only set up my month. And then I did add one extra spread. I added my memory keeping spread, which I will begin compiling and about once or twice a week I'll sit down and fill these in I don't do it every day for a sticker a day for the memory um I am not keeping the same prayer lists that I used to um either the ones that I made or the ones that I get from my church just because I need a little bit of a change um so I'm still praying I'm just not following those so yeah, I guess that's it. And I forgot to say that when I was setting up. Hang on, let's see. I don't know if I want it to go up. I want it to just be like this. I forgot to say that when I was setting up my planner and of course, oops. Sorry about that. I just got the low battery um, notification on my phone. So when I was setting it up, I forgot to say that that's why I've, I've taken out all of these extra things that I used to put in my monthly spreads is because I'm not using them or they're in my weekly spread somehow or um, there, yeah, there's just other things that I'm doing. Okay, so let's see, let's put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and I already know that on Friday I don't work out and Sunday I don't work out and I think that's it that's I guess like pre pre-approved plans anything else on my tracker I actually do okay let me give that one second okay so that may have leaked a little to the side because I just pressed down those dots, but I can live with that. Let me let that dry because that's a lot of ink. Okay, I think they're dry. And I'll just give a quick flip here. Let me zoom you back. All right, so my weekly overview, appointments, menu, notes, tasks that are not day specific and I want to get done throughout the week. Um, my little habit tracker. Monday, this is my planning side, my homeschool and Bible study. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday only gets a planning page. Saturday, the planning page is here and this is the Bible study page. And then Sunday, and that is my week. All right, guys, um, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for watching this plan with me. I really appreciate your support. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will know to keep posting these. Otherwise, I'll just see you in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.